Lalo to the precision landing in difficult terrain. I see players complain that the game should have some auto landing helper systems to help to land easier in terrain they can't see well. However, I think you don't actually need such a system if you prepare yourself for the landing zone after you pick it and examine it before you land on it. So that's better. Okay, first thing we gotta take off. Come on. I'm gonna accelerate to accelerate to some speed. Forward speed. Now, now I'm combining forward flying with some thrust and holding strafe up. You're not going extreme speeds. But still quite a bit faster than just using um, helicopter type controls. I want to fly around the area and pick a difficult place to land on a mountain or in some forest or something. Speed. As the more you point down your nose and the more you go thrust up, the more you accelerate if you want to fly like a helicopter. However, the, the up thrust is a lot more limited than the main thrust. Check out the mountain top over there. I'll let go of my up thruster and increase the main thruster. And the way the aerodynamics currently are for most ships, if you want to fly straight and level, you actually have to point about 10 to 15 degrees up because, as we see, the, uh, the velocity vector is quite below the horizon line. Circle that mountain range over there and find a nice spot to land. As you can see, the um, ship is actually flying a lot faster than you might think 193 meters per second. It's, it's just that most objects in this area um, make it look like you're flying much slower. You can see, I have, to pull my sh I have to pull my nose up. Again, my thrust is still at full. Again, I don't know what's in front of me because my, my ship, I can't see through uh, the cockpit. But I, I saw earlier what the mountain range looks like, now pointing up, and I'm basically flying blind to avoid getting hit by that thing. And of course, as a player, you shouldn't expect to have now have a landing spot below you that you can just land by holding a button or a holographic display showing it to you. You have to circle it, look at it, and then slowly approach it, which takes some time. I think that's part of the fun. If you got some practice, you can basically hold a certain angle. See the velocity indicator and match it against the, um, the pitch ladder. That's how high your pitch is. You're now climbing at about 13 degrees, 15 degrees. And this this mom area over there looks interesting. I'm gonna slowly transition into slow flight. All the box is to point your nose forward. the forward thrust. Now I'm just floating. I got no thrust on at all. I see I'm falling out of the sky. Stop that. Again by using thrust up. And try to ignore what the instruments tell you. Look at what the environment around you the falling, increasing the thrust. Reach some type of hover. Like that mountain range over there. Now, since, we're in a, since we're in a hover, basically, we're going to use the horn to push us over there. I'm going to pick that 
don't know where they are land on it. And I'll try to land on the top of it. Again, increasing thrust because I'm falling. Well, sometimes if you need to increase thrust quicker, no matter what direction it is, you just hold boost a bit. Leaning forward. Again, as I mentioned earlier, point your nose forward and the thrust up um, basically makes you fly forward at a slow speed. When you get experience with it, you can kind of guess the angle we have to go slightly banking forward the nose and giving some forward thrust. Then you can get the speed you want in, in a slow hover. Not a hover, but in a slow forward flying speed. And again, you can use thrust, uh, sorry, boost for that also. Yes. If that is going slow, you just give, give it some more thrust. I'm using a mix of um, forward thrust and braking thrust. The, the thing is, if you use um, the more forward thrust you use, the less you have to use up um, um, strafe up thrust to keep yourself low. Also, the aerodynamics kind of assist with it. Going down again, I'm overshooting the target because I'm going too fast. A good way to stop it is nose back. And really stiff thrust up. Maybe some boost. And we slowed down enough. Try to land on the top. Now, as you approach the landing zone, you need to examine the way it looks like, then pick the point you land on. Of course, bad weather right now is going to make this really difficult. Then again, if you land in bad weather, it has to be more difficult, so I should complain here. Again, try to ignore the numbers in the cockpit. Look at what you can see. Feel the speed that you need. Bad. Stomp. As you can see, I'm, I'm losing contact. Uh, you can't see the, the mountain tabs. So I'm overreacting. Just a bit closer, just a bit closer, just a bit closer, and it's failing. A look from the outside. That button. The, yeah, I wouldn't say that's too bad. It's the exact top of the mountain I want to land. Should really fix the particles showing up in the cockpit. 